for the next few lessons, we're going to be looking at the different management theories that managers might employ in their business. These are important because they set out the ways that people think the best way to manage a business is. And it allows managers to effectively analyse their approach. We're going to look at three in particular, classical scientific, sometimes just called scientific, behavioural and the contingency theory of management. The first theory of management that we're going to look at is called classical scientific. And basically this theory of management places at the highest point the idea of increasing profits by increasing productivity. Frederick Taylor is the man that's most famous for this and it began in the early 1900s. And the real benefit is the increase in productivity is enormous. It is used mostly now in countries like China. There are three or four key functions in this. Firstly, there's planning, then there's leading, then there's organising, and then there's controlling. Good way to remember it is to say plock in your head. Planning, leading, organising, and controlling. So planning is setting goals, leading is telling people how you're going to get there, organising is providing a framework, and controlling is measuring to make sure you're meeting the requirement. In order to achieve these increases in productivity, Taylor devised a very strategic approach. So there's a hierarchical organisation based on division of labour. People don't build a whole car. People would just work on one very small job at a time. There'd be lots of middle managers with a very rigid chain of command and very small spans of control. So the manager might only look after four people, for example. Supporting these approaches to management is what's known as an autocratic leadership style. This means when the manager makes all the decisions himself or herself, doesn't ask for any input, doesn't require any input, doesn't allow any input from the workers or anyone else. It's, it's all about the manager making the decisions that he or she thinks are the best.